what a joy it is to have Colonel West with us. And let me tell you why he's here in case you don't know or don't realize uh, this. But we need to understand the importance of working to stop the onslaught that has overtaken several states already. And we cannot afford to allow this to happen to the state of Texas. Now, I'm not from the state of Texas, but I can tell you this is an American issue, folks. Look at the economy in the state of Texas. Look at the um, electoral votes that come out of the state of Texas. And Alan, Alan West wrote a book called Hold Texas, Hold the Nation. Hold Texas, Hold the Nation. If you haven't gotten that book, go to Amazon right now and get it. But Hold Texas, Hold the Nation, and you understand why this is so important. And Colonel Alan West is running for the, his, he's got a, He's running for the chairmanship of the Republican Party in Texas. And we need to make a change there because we got to hold Texas. And this is for all Americans. We got to do what we can to help Colonel West gain that uh, Republican chairmanship of the state of Texas. Colonel, thank you. Welcome for the, to the show. Sure, appreciate it. Dan, it's a pleasure to be with you, and hopefully you had a great uh, long Labor Day weekend. I sure did. I sure did. Uh, it was nice. Um, you know, I know that you didn't, I didn't, when I left the military service. Neither one of us, when we left, they said something like, hey, you know that oath you, you made? Don't worry about it. It's, all, it's done. You don't have to worry about it <laughs> yeah. anymore. You know, I never heard that. I know you didn't. No. Nah. And, no, absolutely not. And you're working every day, all the time, with that at the forefront of your mind, as I do. And we need to hold America. We need to hold America, yes. And we need to make sure that uh, we don't lose Texas. Tell us what's going on in Texas and what, what uh, you're hoping to do. Well, the thing that's going on in Texas, all I have to do is, uh, you know, let people understand this. Next week, the next Democrat presidential debate will be held where? Mm. It'll be held in Houston, Texas. And why do you think it's being held in Houston, Texas? It's because uh, last election cycle, November 2018, every single Republican uh, elected position in the city of Houston was was defeated. They were defeated. Uh, we lost 56 judge positions overall in Texas. We lost nine, uh, I mean, 12. We lost 12 state house seats in Texas. And then we lost another uh, two to three state Senate seats. The progressive socialist left has targeted Texas, just the same as they did Nevada, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico. And now they're marching even more east and they have this incredible uh, prize which are the 38 electoral votes. After the next census, they may pick up, we may pick up two to three more uh, congressional districts, which will take us up to 40 or 41 electoral votes. So they, they think that they can flip the Texas House. They think that they can uh, control this state because they run all of our major uh, population centers from Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, Houston, El Paso, Corpus Christi. And even in one of the largest red counties, not just in Texas, but in the country, and that's Tarrant County, Fort Worth, Senator Ted Cruz did not even win that against uh, Robert Francis O'Rourke. So we've got a fight here in Texas. It's the ideological battle, which, as I said, if we can hold Texas, then we hold this nation. Has that happened because... We are, are Texans in particular, but this, I'm afraid this is going to happen in the next election. But are we kind of sitting back on our laurels here? Oh, Texas, this is Texas. You know, it's not going to happen. Has there been a complacency there that, is, that has helped drive this? I think there are three factors. The complacency, I believe, is one. Uh, and then there's also the changing demographic shift. You think about, uh, I believe it's up to a thousand people a day are moving into Texas, and you can see that when you try to get out and drive around here in Dallas Fort Worth area. But then there's also the influx of progressive socialism on our college campuses and universities. For instance, at the University of Texas, which is in Austin, Texas, which uh, the capital of Texas looks more like San Francisco. 
But at the University of Texas, you had this autonomous student network that threatened all incoming uh, freshmen if they were to join the Young Conservatives of Texas or Turning Point USA, that they would do this doxing thing. They would put them uh, out in public and to include if they were, you know, had any type of uh, jobs or anything like that. We saw what uh, Joaquin Castro did down in San Antonio with making this list of donors and uh, to include their businesses. This is happening in Texas, Dan. Mm. You know, Texas, which has the 11th largest economy in the world, but yet we have these little socialist, uh, you know, delusional, deranged minions running around and trying to undermine this great state. And there, it, you're just going to get to a point where – East Texas and West Texas cannot continue to prop it up, especially when these major population centers are trending toward the other side, which they should not. Mm. You know, it is uh, it is scary when we think about the economy of Texas alone. Just think about the economy and and Mm -hmm. how that economy is thriving, has been. And when we look at the economies of states where uh, they have either turned blue or are firmly in blue, and we see what has happened there. I can't even imagine that uh, what would happen to the U.S. economy if that were to happen in Texas. No, you're absolutely right. And think about this. The economy of the state of Texas is greater than that of Canada and Russia. So why would we all of a sudden want to see this state fall into the hands of the left and look at the look at California. Look at the economic situation there. I mean, you have cities that were going bankrupt. Look at the uh, the situation with the homelessness and and everything that's happening. And yet, you have the city council of Austin, Texas, which voted to allow homeless people to erect tents downtown. Now, think about how that will affect the businesses that are downtown, the live music entertainment sector that is downtown in Austin. So are those type of things that we don't want to have happen. And really, Dan, it's insidious. It, it is almost confounding that people would be leaving these failed blue states, California, Illinois, New York, New Jersey, moving here to Texas for all the right reasons. Fifty of the uh, Fortune 500 companies are headquartered here in Texas. But why are they moving here to Texas? Because of those right constitutional, conservative, economic, fiscal policies that allow them to have growth, opportunity, and prosperity. But for whatever reason, they're looking back, and they're not talking to their employees, and their employees are saying, yeah, you know, let's just have it like how it was where we were in California, wherever, and let's just vote for these same, you know, insidious policies that drove our Mm. businesses and corporations out. Tell tell everybody, and and. Everybody listen to this. Not, I, I know we have a huge, huge audience in Texas. It's, it's our biggest state. But aside from that, everybody out there, this is about America. What do we have to do for your candidacy? Explain what you're running for. But what do we have to do? And by the way, there's a website, West Number 4 Texas, westnumber4texas.com that everybody needs to visit. But tell us about it. Yeah, westfortexas.com. It lays out, uh, you know, my vision uh, for Texas. I want to make sure that we take our message, which is a, cr- a strong constitutional conservative message, to all communities across Texas. One of the things, Dan, you know, you hear the left always talk about Republicans, racism, white supremacy, nas- white nationalism. The Republican Party of Texas was founded on July the 4th of 1867 by 150 blacks. Mm -hmm. That's a powerful statement. And I think that's something that we don't elaborate upon uh, as as much as we should. So go to our website and and learn more about our campaign. The most important thing is this campaign uh, will be decided in uh, next May down in Houston at the state convention. Uh, And we're capped at 9,000 people can be delegates to that convention. So we have a tab on the website about how to become a delegate, uh, and that's important. But we appreciate your financial support. Uh, 254 counties in the state of Texas. i got to try to get around to as many as I possibly can, definitely to every one of the 31 state Senate districts, which is the basis by which uh, delegates are, are you know, a portion. So that's a critical thing. But I think people need to understand this is an Alamo moment, not just for Texas, but for the country. Yes. Amen. And that's, you know, that is my concern. I mean, this is huge for America. When we think about, um, you know, the, we've already got California that is, 
you know, a blue state. We cannot afford to lose Texas. And I'm sure they're going to be coming after Florida next if they get Texas, if they're not already, already trying to do that. I know they are. But um, we have got to hold Texas. We have got to hold Texas, folks. And it's critically important. We've got to uh, support Colonel West. It's going to be support that, that we need to put out there. We need to uh, get him out there and rally the troops, which I know he can do. And west4texas.com, west4texas.com, it's a number four, uh, west4texas.com, we need to do that. I appreciate your willingness to serve this country um, for all of your life. Continue to serve That's the way you do. do. And, man, it is, uh, it is such a blessing. Uh, I appreciate you. Folks, make sure that you pick up the book, Hold Texas, Hold the Nation. And you'll understand a lot more of how important this is. Hold Texas, hold the nation. So important. You go to Amazon, get that book. Um, sure would appreciate it. Colonel, thank you as always. You're a blessing to us. We sure appreciate the work you're doing. And uh, we're glad we're able to do this. Thank you. Hey, I want to thank you for watching the clip. We sure do appreciate it. Would you go right now, click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. That helps us. We would appreciate it. Thanks again.